Um, it's surreal. Um, I was just actually talking to my mom about it. I, I actually have a bad, a bad time. Like with moments like this in my life, I always downplay it and not appreciate it enough. So I think when I get more time off, like when we, I think we're gonna have a few, few days off coming up here, and then that's when it's gonna really set in. But um, I'm appreciative of, of it. Um, it's huge. It's a huge honor to be respected by guys in my room, especially um, the cornerbacks, the defense, and then obviously the entire team. And just uh, have that respect from the coaches to trust me that I can be a leader on this team is amazing. Um, and um, yeah, I'm appreciative of it. How do you? How do you lead? What type of leader are you? Um, I was I was actually talking about this as well. Not the most vocal guy, unless I have to be, but. Um, I do like to, or at least the guys in my room, they call me Unc, as an uncle. Um, I do assume the big brother role. Um, I know once when I was in their shoes, I always didn't have that guy on the team. And I'm not gonna say I wasn't comfortable with those guys, the older guys, but I didn't have that guy on the team that I could go to and um, actually have that connection and ask for advice and just be that for me. And um, I didn't want to make sure I was that for them. So even when I was hurt and I couldn't lead on the field, I would always grab one of those guys, take them into the meeting room, um, show them what I see, reiterate, reiterate the things that Coach Mickens was talking about in the meetings, and then um, just off the field, always being an ear to them. Um, we all go through things and we all have a tough time, especially in this process of college and college football. So um, just being another ear, being another brother in their life that they can actually come to and talk to. And, yeah. and as we're more, how have you grown? your time here uh, obviously as a player but but also like as a person and a leader to allow this to be the case for you to be a captain um I think I've grown just as a person I've gotten to know myself more I always say this is the second best decision I ever made in my life um, high school being the first um, but just as a person I, I was able to realize some of my tendencies as a person um, whether they're bad or good and I'm constantly working on that um, and um, communicating with my friends, my family more. I used to be one of those guys that would talk to my family like once a week, uh, once every two weeks, but just being able to call back home and be grounded and um, call to my friends that aren't here. And those are, those are the type of things that keep me grounded and keep me uh, focused. And um, yeah, I, I would say that. How has Coach Mickens maybe challenged you this season? And how personally, and then how have you seen other guys step up? You know, since last year. Um, talking about in the corners room. Yeah. Um, well, Coach Miggins challenged me to be more of a leader, and I think, and that started in the spring because obviously I couldn't be on the field. And um, with that, I challenged other guys in the room to also lead because I mean, the best teams have a ton of leaders, right? And I didn't want to be the only guy in the room trying to be vocal and. Like I said before, I'm not the most vocal guy when it comes to leading, so have as many voices as possible in the room leading and assuming that role makes us all better.